visit the place in Augusta, Georgia, where dreams are made, the incredible Imperial Theater. The historic Imperial Theater, which was built in 1917, is downtown Augusta, Georgia's home for the performing arts, consisting of concerts, ballet, modern dance, theatrical productions, and films. Be sure to check out imperialtheater.com for a listing of upcoming events, local restaurants and accommodations, or call the box office to arrange a tour. The Imperial Theater is rich in architectural detail. It was built in Edwardian style with brick and concrete with a terracotta facade. The interior was Art Deco, with some elements remaining today. Here's additional information about the Imperial Theater's history and its role as a cultural treasure for Augusta and the surrounding communities. Well, the Imperial Theater has served as a cultural and entertainment resource for Augusta and the surrounding communities since uh, the 1918. A number of famous people have appeared at the Imperial Theater in its early history. For example, Charlie Chaplin appeared at the Imperial Theater selling war bonds during World War I. In the 1920s, Anna Pavlova appeared with the Ballet Russe. Leo Carrillo, who was the sidekick to the Cisco Kid, also appeared at the theater as well. Effective with the 1930s, the theater became a full-time movie house. The theater closed in the early 1980s and was subject to demolition and was only saved through the efforts of a large number of people in Augusta who wanted to save the building as a performing arts venue. For the last seven years, this will be our eighth, Storyland Theater has made this our home. And every year we have students, teachers, and families from all over the CSRA who come from, I think, seven counties to see our performances during the week on field trips. And on the weekend, we do a community performance. So last year, we had 23,000 people in this theater. It is so cool that the Imperial Theater is here and all the kids from St. Mary's can come and support the arts. It's so cool! As a performing arts organization, we need the Imperial Theater. This is our home and has been our home for over 15 years. And if the Imperial Theater were not here, we would not have a venue to perform. Uh, we love the Imperial Theater. It, it's um, a great old, old theater, so you've, you've got everything that you might want here. You've got the ambiance, um, there's beautiful scenery, wonderful decorations, a great pit, um, and it's a fantastic place to sing. Nationally and internationally known acts have appeared at the Imperial Theater. Well-known names like Jesse Norman, Joey Calderazzo, Branford Marsalis, Liz Wright, Brian Adams, Peter Rowan, Derek Trucks and Susan Tedeschi, Sharon Jones and the Dap Kings, Marty Stewart, Sam Bush, and Robert Earl Keane, just to name a few. My relationship with the Imperial started about five years ago. Um, I started a Motown show, a Motown tribute show, and uh, um, the first one we did, we did a little venue seat, two or three hundred people, and, and of course it wasn't big enough. We didn't uh, uh, feel like we could pull three thousand people in, so we needed a venue that would seat, you know, anywhere from six to nine hundred people. We tried this out, uh, like I said, about five years ago, and we've been hooked ever since. I mean, we, every year we come here, I mean, it's just perfect, just a perfect place. The Imperial offers a lot. It's, um, it's acoustically good, um, it, uh, it's intimate to have 800 seats, it's still very intimate. It just has a special feeling every time I walk in here, whether uh, it be for a speaker or, or a concert or whatever, it's just something very unique that will be in my heart forever. The Imperial Theater has shows and events here that are a blessing to the community and to the people in the community. And it brings a quality of life downtown that just lights up Broad Street, literally, with the nice marquee. It just lights up and it, you, when you ride down Broad Street and you see the Imperial Theater marquee, it kind of takes you to Times Square in New York. So to support the Imperial Theater is to support Augusta and its arts community. We have a significant opportunity to restore and reinstall the Imperial Theater's original theater organ, which is known as the Mighty Wurlitzer. It was installed in 1925 and removed from the theater in the early 1970s. 
With it back in operation, will allow us to utilize the theater organ for silent film accompaniment, as well as pre-show entertainment and standalone entertainment. To support the Imperial Theater would be like supporting uh, your home, because without the Imperial Theater, there's gonna be a lot of uh, uh, local businesses lost. Because downtown here, a lot of businesses prosper from uh, the shows that come here, the people that come here. This is the theater that most of the arts groups use. This is a theater that they can afford to rent to do their performances for the community. This is a theater that has a great history with all of us in Augusta. I think the most important thing is to restore this theater and keep it a working theater before we worry about anything else. The Historic Imperial Theater, downtown Augusta's home for the performing arts. See you at the show.